Well, San Diego taking a major step today toward creating its own energy company as an alternative to SDG&E. 10 News reporter John Horn explains why San Diego's lead could lower power bills for communities across Southern California. It has gone up. Kevin Bussett isn't alone when it comes to electric bills getting more expensive in San Diego. But he says he doesn't stress about it. Because I can always turn the heater off a little earlier. What he does want is to see 100% renewable energy power his North Park home. The city of San Diego taking a major step toward that goal on Monday. The council voted 7-2 to two to begin forming its own energy alternative to SDG&E. SDG&E would still deliver your electricity. After all, its power poles and infrastructure are all over this town. But the city says with its alternative, your bill each month could be about 5% lower. San Diego will approach other cities in this county and Orange County to build the energy company. That could give it better buying power when it comes to securing energy. The people who will bear the real consequences or reap the benefits of the decisions you're making are our grandchildren and the, their children. The move does come with risks. Councilman Scott Sherman voted against the plan, noting the city's recent trouble with its water department. Startup costs could be as much as $10 million, and residents would have to pay exit fees to SDG&E. I wouldn't mind paying more if it meant that all my energy was going to be 100% renewable. But Bassett wouldn't have to if all goes to plan. The city hopes to get to 100% renewable energy by 2035. John Horn, 10 News. A spokeswoman for SDG&E told the council the utility fully supports the plan. The city hopes to launch the energy company in 2021.